again. Uh, I wanted to do a ride or die products video. So let's just get into it. I don't really use primers on my face. Um, I like to use moisturizers and SPF and that's about it. Um, and you know if I need a little extra something I might use a different primer um, for a different need but on the daily I don't really use primers all that often. So let's start out with my first ride or die product which is the Super Goop SPF Everyday Sunscreen. Uh, it's SPF 50 uh, because I am obviously very fair. Um, <clears throat> I've used a lot of sunscreens and this one does not mess with my makeup very much. Um, it can sit underneath my makeup and it does a great job um, not moving it around. It doesn't get around here and make it all kind of patchy. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really disturb my makeup at all, so that's why I love it so much. And I wear it every day because you should be wearing sunscreen every day. Winter, summertime, it doesn't matter. Wear sunscreen always, always, always. Um, at least on your face. That being said, I think moisturizers are also really important. So uh, this is my favorite moisturizer. It's the Embryolisse uh, Cream Concentrate. And this one is from Target, but I usually get mine from Namie's in California. Uh, the full size um, bottle but that one at Target I think was nine dollars and it's little but you don't need very much to moisturize your whole face it does an amazing job and um, your makeup stays on really well and so um, yeah those are that's really all I use under my makeup you guys um, moving on to foundations I felt like I had to do different foundations because you know, there's sheer, there's full coverage, medium coverage, light coverage, whatever. So I've got three here that are like my ride or die products forever, um, but they range in coverage. So the first one is the MAC Face and Body uh, Foundation, and this is really good for the face and body. Uh, if you need to put it on your legs because you, you know, feel like your legs look kind of pale or splotchy, uh, you can put this over them and it just gives them a really nice um, sheer coverage and uh, I feel like it goes on a little strange at first but then it sets and you can really work it um, onto your skin. Uh, and then the second one and this to be honest this is the foundation I grab for all the time. Um, it is a medium to full coverage uh, and I am on my third bottle of this because I reach for it all the time. Um, and actually my sister also loves this foundation. Shout out Lisa what's up? Uh, and so I think she can attest uh, that she'll be buying this foundation forever, um, as will I. And their shade range is huge, uh, but without any more ado, uh, this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, and I just feel like it makes your skin look like skin, uh, really nice and hydrated and beautiful. Um, so yeah, let's keep going. The last foundation I have is the Hourglass Vanish Stick here. This is a stick foundation, obviously, um, but this is full coverage, looking like you've never been in the sun, you don't have blemishes, none of that. This gets rid of all of that, so you gotta get ready for some full coverage action if you want to wear that but it is amazing um, it doesn't feel cakey it layers on itself beautifully speaking of full coverage I'm gonna move straight into concealers here uh, no surprise to anybody that the Tarte Shape Tape is amazing um, I love it uh, it is also like I said very full coverage other concealer that I love of course is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer um, they have I think like six or seven shades in this concealer but uh, it's really great and I reach for it almost every day um, when I don't necessarily need that super full coverage uh, concealer action. So moving on to powders I guess because I'm kind of doing this in order of how I would do my makeup so moving on to powder, uh, loose, I'm on that airspun bandwagon forever, I used it once and I have gone through I don't know how many jars of this I've gone through but um, Airspun Translucent Loose Powder is the jam forever, forever, forever. Uh, and Pressed Powder, of course, um, is another Maybelline product. This is the Fit Me Pressed Powder. Um, and I just think it is not chalky. It goes on really nicely. Um, their shade range is really nice. Uh, I have Translucent, and this is slightly more of um, a peachy color. But 
Uh, yes. Moving on to bronzer and contour shades. Well, my one that I reach for every day would be the Bahama Mama from Balm, the Balm Cosmetics, and um, honestly it's a good bronzer, but it's also a pretty good contour shade. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty neutral. It, it might look a little warm in the camera here, but it's pretty neutral. It's a, um, a nice one to contour with as well as uh, just bronze up for those summer months. Um, and then, <clears throat> again, no surprise here, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette is a dream. Um, the shades in here are amazing. I've obviously had this for a little while, um, and this is totally gone, but this was the light contour shade, and it was perfect for my skin tone. Um, but yeah, they have a light, medium, dark um, contour shades, and then three highlight shades. Um, for blush, my first ride or die would be this MAC Sheer Tone Blush, and this is in the color Tenderling. And it's a really nice um, neutral pink. Uh, the Becca blushes I absolutely love, and um, this one, this one is in the shade Damselfly. Um, and these have a little shimmer to them that Mac Sheer Tone Blush doesn't have any shimmer to it, but uh, this Becca one does. And I do love these because they're so pigmented, but. They're super blendable. Last for the face products, but not least, are highlighters. And I have two that I constantly reach for. Number one would be the uh, Mary Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics. And this is a really nice um, sort of champagne-y shade. Um, and then this is from, whew, this is from Jouer. Um, even the package, oh my god, look at that. Even the package is binding, but um, the Jouer one I just got a couple weeks ago and I can't stop using it. Every day it's replacing the Mary Luminizer one from the Balm, but it, it just it blends beautifully and it's uh, super blinding. So I think we're going to move on to the rest of the products. Uh, let's start with brows. I think for brows, I only really reach for two products most of the time, um, and that is my trusty Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in Ebony and um, the L'Oreal Voluminous Brow Mascara, or Brow Plumber, I guess it's called. Um, but usually I'll just go in with the pencil and then finish it with this, and it's got like a tiny little spoolie on it. Um, but I just, I reach for these every day. I rarely reach for my drawer full of brow products that I have. Um, but it's so quick and the brows look clean and beautiful and I'm, I'm ready to go. Next is eyeshadow. Let me tell you something. With all of the eyeshadow palettes that are out today, it is so hard to pick one. But I picked two because I felt like picking one would be impossible. Um, but let me just start with... Uh, this is the Viseart Dark Mattes palette and I just mm, look at those colors it's got like a burnt orange it's got like a mustardy yellow it's got um, brownish reds like almost sienna colors uh, a couple of jade purple blue um, but yeah, it's just, that palette is so beautiful and good on so many eye colors and skin tones. So, um, I love it. But, this might be the ultimate ride or die palette for me. And, it's just, it's almost unfair because it's like many palettes in one. But, I love this brand so much. Everything they make. And, I've been using their shadows forever. And, it is my Melt cosmetics eyeshadows. You can see they're all in a stack here and I just I love these so much. They're amazing. Um, they, man these colors are so pigmented and I love uh, the way they blend and I just everything about the melt shadows is amazing and so I think if I only had one eyeshadow to go to for the rest of my life it would be my melt cosmetics stack because I mean look Look at how many shadows are in here, and the pans are huge. Um, so yeah, thanks Mel, this is amazing. Next, 
let's look at eyeliners. I think I'll do a pencil and a liquid um, favorite ride or die liners. The Tardis eyeliner from Tarte Cosmetics is amazing. Um, the one side is a liquid liner and then the other side is a pencil, but the pencil side doesn't really do much for me. Um, pigmentation isn't really there and the pencil doesn't go in your waterline well. Um, so yeah, just the liquid liner though is just the be all end all for liquid liners for me. Um, and pencil liner though, uh, the Marc Jacobs, this is the Highliner Gel Crayon, um, and obviously mine is down to the bottom here, but the pigmentation is so intense and it really goes into your waterline really well um, and stays there. Mascaras, so let's talk mascaras. This is gonna come no surprise to anybody, but the Benefit Roller Lash obviously is amazing. Um, it gives your lashes really beautiful length and volume, um, and it's just, it's amazing. The applicator is um, really thin, which I like. Uh, but if you're looking for more of a drugstore, again, this will come as no surprise to any beauty people, but uh, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara uh, in Carbon Black is just fantastic. The color is beautiful, and it stays put all day, and um, yeah, your lashes just look voluminous, uh, obviously. Um, let's talk lips next, I guess. So. Lip liners, I just had um, one of my favorites here, the MAC Lip Pencils. I just had one that I was going to show you guys, and now, of course, I've misplaced it in this small table that I have, and uh, I don't know how that happens. But. but anyway, MAC Lip Pencils, absolute favorite. They blend so well, they're super pigmented, and um, I just think they stay all day, and uh, I absolutely love them. Um, However, I really love these Smashbox Always Sharp liners, and they make eyeliners and lip liners, but the lip liners are really pigmented, and they stay put, and um, they're always sharp. So when you close this cap here, um, it sharpens your pencil, which is really nice. Let's move on to lipsticks. Now, I had to do two different categories and I did not do different colors like I said in a lot of these I'm not going to tell you what shades I prefer over another um, but lipsticks was such a big category and I just felt like I had to narrow it down to two um, regular stick lipsticks and two uh, liquid lipsticks so um, not going to do it you know around shades, I'm going to do it more around formulas that I really like. So, um, the first one for my stick lipsticks would have to be the MAC lipstick, specifically the Amplified lipsticks. Um, I just feel like they're super creamy and they stay on really nicely and um, they just keep your lips looking nice and moisturized and beautiful and the shade range is, range is very great in anything MAC, of course. Um, and then this, and I haven't talked about this brand at all, I'm surprised because I actually do really like a lot of products from them, um, but Clinique, uh, this is the Clinique Pop lipstick. Um, this was not a very big shade range, but um, it is a lipstick and primer in one, uh, and I just feel like it makes your lips feel so nice, and um, they look very luscious all day, and it's pretty long wearing to have... Um, you know, such a moisturizing feel. Those are my two favorite. They just, I feel like they're nice all day and I don't have to worry about reapplying all the time, which is nice. Um, finally, of course, we couldn't do this video without talking about liquid lipsticks. So, man, you guys, this was a hard choice because there's so many liquid lipsticks now, but I have two that I will go to religiously, and if I could have every color that they make, I would. Um, but here we are. Number one would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. These are all so amazing feeling. They don't leave my lips feeling crusty and dry. Um, they just go on really opaque, and they stay on for a long time. Um, and yeah, all of the shades are beautiful. And um, number two, 
which if you know me, again, this will come as no surprise to you, but the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, I just love them. It's my favorite formula. I feel like it's so light um, and they don't leave my lips feeling gross. You'll notice I didn't have a setting spray because I don't really use them. Um, I have a little spritz bottle uh, full of water and that's what I'll use before I put on my mascara and I'll just spritz my face with water and kind of pat it with my sponge um, like Beauty Blender or whatever but uh, yeah I don't, I'm not big on um, setting sprays I just feel like they leave my face feeling really sticky and um, yeah I don't know I'm just not, not a big fan but water does the trick for me so um, Anyway, I guess that's it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, like the video, uh, share it if you like, comment, say what's up. Uh, I would love to know what you guys want me to do in the future. I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much.